Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. My name is Andrew Rayner and we're back with another How To Planet Zoo. And today we are looking at guest education. Um, so I've seen quite a lot of people um, discussing and having issues with um, trying to get um, guest education to the certain thresholds for their challenges. Um, so what we're going to do is have a look and see how I've been able to do it. So as you can see uh, for my zoo, I've managed to get the guest education rating to five. Um, so that's what we're going to be looking at trying to do. Um, so what we can do here um, is in your facilities, you have access to um, educational speakers and habitat education boards. Um, so I favorite those because I set them up on every exhibit um, just because they're very useful. Um, so what I do is I set these up. When you set them up, there's a couple of things you get to configure. Um, so for this one, you get to choose which animal um, you want to do. So generally speaking, the animal that it's closest to will be at the top of the list. Um, and then it'll be at the very bottom will be the one that's furthest away from the exhibit. Um, so for this, if you were to choose an aisle monitor here, but it's in front of an aardvark exhibit, guests might get confused just because it's not the right animal. Um, it's not what they're seeing. Um, there's nothing to stop you doing that. It just might confuse guests, um, which is something to keep in mind. Then with the speakers, um, they have the same drop down and it works in the same way. Um, animal that's closest is the top of the list. Um, and beyond that you then have a range and this range basically allows you to say how far you want the volume to go So how, f how far wide do you want it to go? Um, so you can see here um, if I set it to 13 um, It would actually go quite far, but it would actually overlap with this other speaker I have here so you can see using this um, heat map um, that it shows you which education speakers are overlapping so if I change this back to um, six or seven I need to change to five, sorry. Change it to five, and then they're no longer overlap overlapping, and the guests will be happy. Um, so as long as guests are seeing these, um, and they're not, there's no red overlap, um, you don't have any issues. Your heat map is very powerful for doing this and helping you see this. Um, so again, if you're unsure where to find your heat map, it's in the bottom left-hand side of your screen. It's underneath um, here, but you can do that. You can press H, um, which will make it come up and go away. Um, or if you drag the range, it makes the heat map come up as well. So if I change this to five, it makes the heat map come up automatically. So there's multiple different ways you can get your heat map up there, which hopefully one of them suits you. Um, if I just get the heat map open again, you can actually see I've got a couple of yellow signs over here. Now, so we're just going to go over to these. So the yellows over here says that I've got an incorrect or unassigned education. So as I say, if you had an incorrect one, um, like the animal was wrong, um, it would flag it there, uh, but these ones just haven't been assigned at all yet. So this exhibit is my Nile monitor exhibit. It's the newest exhibit in the zoo. So I obviously just didn't get around to doing it. So I'm going to set up the Nile monitor, and then what I'm going to do is then I'm going to choose Nile monitor from this list, and I'm going to set how far I want the, the sound to go. So I'm just going to get it to go 20, because there's nothing else anywhere near here, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so we can do that, and then that um, allows you to do do that and see everything there. Um, so once you've got these in place, um, it tends just to sort itself out. Um, there's a couple of things that you can do just to make sure that um, everything's working properly. Um, if anything, anything's in black, which I don't think I currently have, it either means that it's been vandalized, um, which obviously means that you then need to repair it. Um, oh, we've got another red one here. I can change that quickly to sort it out. Makes the guests slightly happier about it. Um, if you've got any anything with black, um, it just means it's either not powered um, or um, it's been vandalized and hasn't been fixed. So if I just take um, one of these, and I'm just going to put it really far away just so you can see the color. Um, so if I put this over here, you can see that the color is black compared to the blues and yellows um, that we can see the other bits and the reds when it's overlapping. Um, so you can see the different colors there, um, and that's how, that's how your education works, really. Um, having them, I tend to put... Um, set up my exhibits to have um, some glass panels in the middle and then I put one of these at either side and um, you actually get um, stands as well for these um, you get um, education boards legs which you can set up and then you can attach your board to or you can get it combined together and um, which then comes out like like this um, that you then be able to see um, I thought it was facing the other way, but you can then do that. And then if I change this to be an aardvark, you'd see an aardvark thing. Um, and it comes basically pre-made for you. Um, I prefer putting them on the walls like I have there, um, but there are options there. You do have um, conservation education boards as well. These are useful for um, doing your whole get, uh, whole zoo. 
Um, so what you can do is you can set these up. Um, doesn't matter too much and then you can just choose choose a topic um, and those set themselves up um, you don't need to worry too much about those as long as they're turned on and powered um, they will do their own thing um, and the last option here is your exhibit education boards um, so when you're setting up your exhibits um, so if I don't have any exhibits in this so I'm just gonna quickly do this actually let's just set up a quick exhibit so if we set this one up um, do I have anything in storage? I don't. Let's just buy something quickly just to put it in here. Right, cool. So we've got that in there. So then what we can do, the same same method, um, same theory around it. Um, I'm just typing in that just because it comes up. Um, what you can do is then put this ed Habitat Education Board. Um, slightly different, slightly smaller. Um, does the same thing. Um, you can then choose your centipede there. Um, so it works the same way. Um, you can do what you can do. Um, works in the same way. Um, you can also put your speakers on the top as well. Um, it doesn't actually change anything there. So if I just grab the speaker, I can put the speaker on top here. Um, I can edit the group, put the speaker up top, and set that up to then speak about the centipede. Um, some of these um, standard ones for these um, exhibits um, if I just grab the standard one, wherever the standard one is, this one, um, as you can see, um, these actually come with these pre-made. Um, so you already have these on the board. Um, and I believe there are speakers in here as well that you can find uh, with the... With that. Okay, this one doesn't, but there are some that come with speakers. Uh, but these come with your education board, so you don't have to do anything with it. They just comes pre-made. All you need to do is configure them. Um, so yeah, that is everything that I have to talk about on education and guest education. I hope it's been useful for you and I hope you've learned something. Um, there's going to be more of these videos, so if you need um, some help on something, um, something you're not 100% sure on, please feel free to leave a comment down below or reach out to me on social media um, and I will add that to my list of things that we want to be doing. Um, don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, ring the bell if you've enjoyed. Um, leave a comment, say why you didn't like it, if it was too long or anything like that, if you didn't like the content, uh, wasn't concise enough, please let me know, I'd love that kind of constructive feedback. Um, again, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.